Hello and welcome to Beautiful Corfu. I have a 10 minute abs workout for you that is going to use all of my favorite Pilates moves to strengthen your core from every single angle. So pause the video, do a quick warm up, and let's turn up your abs. We're going to start in a high plank position. So step your feet back and take your feet wide, shoulders over your hands, and then take shoulder taps, tapping your hand to your opposite shoulder. Do your best to keep your hips flat, resisting your hips rocking side to side. They'll rock a little bit, but try not to let them sway too much. Keep drawing your abs in and up, belly button into spine. Good, now hold it here and then lift your hips up to a downward facing dog. We're gonna ripple through the spine like a wave, rippling upper back, middle back to release your chest forward, then sending your hips back up to your downward facing dog, rippling through the spine like a wave, then sending your hips back up. Flow through this movement in your own time. Really scooping those abs in and up as you ripple through the spine and keep drawing those abs in as you find your full extension. Good, let's do one more. And hold it here in your downward facing dog. Pedal your heels to the floor and walk your feet back in. So they're right underneath your sit bones to drop your knees down to the floor. Reset in four point kneeling. Bring the feet together. Tuck the toes, lift the knees and hover. Twist your knees from one side through center to the other side through center. Really working into your obliques, wringing out your waistline. Keep those hips down and keep your knees quite close to the floor. And last one, and release your knees down. Well done, let's swing those legs around and come to a lying position on your back. Reaching those arms overhead, legs long. Go ahead and flex your feet. Inhale the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, reach those hands all the way up and forward to your toes. And then slowly roll yourself back down. So we're taking our full roll up. This one can be really difficult if you have any flat sections in your spine. So do your best to work through those sticky spots. Inhale, arms up, and then big exhale to roll yourself all the way up, reaching over your toes. And then tuck your tailbone under and roll those hips away from your thighs as you roll yourself back down, releasing one vertebra at a time. Do your best to keep the feet on the floor as you do this. This is your last one, roll yourself all the way up and we're going to stay in our seated position. Just bend your knees. We're gonna take our obliques, roll back. So tuck the tailbone under, sweep one arm back and release to bring it forward. Scoop, tuck, roll back and release to bring it back up onto your sit bones. Do your best to find that C curve through the spine, tucking that tailbone under, scooping your belly in and up. and then we're gonna hold it here in the center. And we're going to hinge ourselves back with a flat back and twist side to side. Do your best to keep your elbows wide and just work that rotation in your torso. Bring it back through center, tuck the tailbone and roll yourself all the way back down. 
Let's inhale for nothing, exhale, lift one leg up to tabletop and then the other. Press your lower back into the mat and we're gonna take it into our dead bug, reaching opposite arm to leg away and back up through center, reaching the opposite arm to leg away and back through center. Keep alternating arm and leg. Use an exhale to press that thigh and arm away. Inhale to bring it back up. And keep your lower back pressing into the mat as you do this. Now to advance, stretch both arms and thighs away and bring it back up. The legs won't go as far this time as two legs are definitely heavier than one. If you want to advance, you're going to reach out overhead and curl your head, neck, and shoulders up and off the floor, reaching it away. Exhale to curl up. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep gliding those bottom ribs to your hips, using your breath. Now hold it here at the top, point your toes, and pulse forward. We are taking 10 tiny little pulses, gliding your bottom ribs to hips. Once you've done 10, hands come behind your head and we start to rotate, taking it into our oblique twists. And bring it back to tabletop pulses. 10 little squeezes. In three, two, one, take it to your oblique twists. back to your tabletop pulses. And back to your oblique twists. Tabletop pulses one last time. Stay lifted, get those shoulder blades just off the floor. Hands come behind the head, oblique twists. Lift that chest up and around, up and around. And bring it back through center. And we're taking it into our double leg stretch, reaching those arms and legs long, circling those arms around and back in towards your shins. Do your best to keep your lower back pressing into the mat. Hold your arms and legs long and flutter your legs as quickly as you can. Try and lower your legs a little closer to the floor. Hold and draw those knees into your chest. Lower your head down. Let's rock and roll yourself all the way back up and come to a seated position on your side. Do your best to just mirror me here. And we're gonna lift our hips up, taking it into a side bend and lowering your hips back down. Press into your palm, lift those hips and lower back down. And if you want to advance, slide that hand out a little bit further, taking it into a full side bend. Really pressing through that palm, zipping up those inner thighs. If you want more, sweep that arm around and up to the sky, and then go ahead and boomerang those hips up as you thread the needle. And let's release it down. Let's swing those legs around to go to the other side. So keep that bottom knee down as you just lift your hips up and lower your hips back down. Lift and lower. And if you want to advance, Slide that hand out a little bit further so that way you can lift up, zip those inner thighs together and release to lower down. Lift and zip, keep those hips stacked and release to lower it down. Now your next option is to sweep that arm up to the ceiling. Then go ahead and thread the needle, boomeranging those hips up 
reach back up, dropping those hips down, reach overhead and drop your hips back down. One more time, lifting those hips up, press that palm, circle that arm up, thread the needle, boomerang the hips up, drawing those abs in and up. That arm reaches back up to the ceiling overhead and lower it back down. Well done. That is so challenging on your obliques. Now let's bring it down to a plank to finish. On your forearms, I want you to hold a still plank, drawing those abs in and up. Make sure those hips are down and in line with your shoulders. Now we're gonna start twisting the hips side to side, swiveling them to the right, to the left. Keep it going. Now hold that plank, hold it still, hold it strong, and release your knees down. Well done, you guys. Thank you so much for completing this ab workout with me. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with a friend, and let me know in the comments what your favorite exercise was. Thanks for joining me, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye, guys.